How does it feel to have your film Spoons as the closing night film of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival? Well, it's, uh, it's an incredible honor. Um, I really didn't know we'd ever be at this position, standing right here in front of all you people, but I'm really happy to show you. All right. Well, we have so many talented surfers that have come from this corner of our world. Tell me about the story of Spoons. Well, this film started off as a, a dig through an archive in surf history. And it, was a, it started with my own personal interest in surfing history in Santa Barbara. And when I realized how deep and varied it really is, um, I just kept going deeper and deeper. So that's where it came from. Excellent. An editor. Oh, yeah. Tell me, what, uh, tell me your name again. Dana. Dana. Dana, tell me a little bit about the challenges of editing a surf film. Um, I mean, there's so many good moments in a film like this. And when you grow up surfing and watching these guys, I think the the weight of the honor to deal with their media as a young guy is um, extreme. So I think I just wanted to do them all right. And then also selecting images. It's like you have to make sure that your story is lined up, but then also you're taking basically like people's memories from their life and like constructing something. So um, it was hard to choose, you know? Um, so we just made rules and those rules kind of like guided the rest of the process. So um, I just am stoked to be able to be here and be in a place um, talking to you guys and, you know, I would imagine it being a surfer is a great help in editing something like that. You yeah, and I had a feel for it. Uh, yeah, I think a feel for it too, but also like, you know, when, when this guy brought me the footage, it's like my hair ran at the back of my neck and I think it's kind of like an apex predator was around where I was like, how have I not seen this stuff? And also like, oh my gosh, what do I do with it? So it's... How many hours of footage did you start I don't, with? I don't know. He would I mean, maybe over a thousand. <laughs> we're talking hundreds, hundreds. Yeah, it was uh, it was diving through a lot of stuff that was in dusty closets and, and stuff that's you know outtakes and B-roll and B-side stuff that hasn't been seen before. So you had a lot of source material. Oh yeah, Going absolutely. Going back how far? Uh, from 1947, I think, was our earliest source material. Yeah. yeah. So what's some of the challenges of producing a film like this? I think it's more about taking those challenges and using them as creative fuel and supporting a team of awesome creatives. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's endless challenges making an independent movie, and I think it's about taking those challenges and using them as creative fuel. Were you able to license a lot of that footage from the original yes. filmmakers? Yes, yes. Excellent. Yeah. Sounds, sounds exciting. We can't wait to see it. Thank and you very to be much. our closing night film. Thank you very it's much. very exciting. It's a major honor. I'm really happy to be here. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much.